Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at seven ways to avoid PC problems. These are the most common problems that people seem to forget to do on a regular basis and then their PC runs into major issues. Now the very first one is keeping your computer up to date. A lot of people seem to uh, block Windows updates and they don't update and patch their system on a regular basis and this is where problems can uh, come. So first off, is getting Windows updates on a regular basis. Now, we're not talking about the feature updates, which is changes to your operating system. This is security updates and patches that you must have on your system to patch a lot of the holes that sometimes get found by security engineers, where these are breaches in vulnerabilities of that operating system. And by updating, you're gonna fix and patch those. So it's important to get those. Another thing I see people do is pause in updates for long periods of time. And what this does, it means the version of Windows they're getting is getting outdated. And sometimes it becomes end of life. And then people try to update to the latest version. And what happens is they end up running into problems and they have to then do a fresh install. You can also use programs like Patch My PC. And this will keep all the software that you're using on your computer updated to the latest versions. This will patch all of the software on your system to make sure all of the software that you're using is fully updated and not outdated. This goes for your browsers as well to make sure that you're getting the very latest browsers to make sure you're safe if you're doing online banking and other things like that. The last thing you want to do is use outdated software, which is uh, sort of got vulnerabilities and security holes in it which you don't want to use on your computer. So for all those people that are blocking Windows updates in fear of it breaking their system or in fear of having data collected, then you need to start updating the security updates on your PC. Next up is use antivirus software and keep it current. It's important that you use antivirus software to protect your data and also to protect your computer from getting infected from ransomware, malware, Trojans, backdoors, rootkits, anything like that. Now you can use something like Bitdefender free if you wish, it's a free download, or you can use Windows Defender, which is built into Windows itself. There's plenty of other choices out there, so choose the one you like and stick with it. Keep it updated and run regular scans on your computer to make sure your PC is clean and free from any sort of infections. This is uh, essential because once you get malware on the system it can download more malware it can open up back doors to allow people in and it can do all sorts of other devastation ransomware itself can encrypt all of your data and if you don't have backups you're pretty much done for and you'd have to do a fresh install of windows so definitely get yourself an antivirus program i would also advise you to get some sort of uh, firewall on the system windows firewall is on there but it's not the best out there next up we're going to be talking about don't open suspicious attachments or click on unusual links in messages or discord or anything like that you can end up getting attachments sent to you like these which have attachments in them and they want you to unpack them and unzip them and click on them and you really don't want to be doing that because they can contain malware or even worse ransomware which can then encrypt all of your data on your computer there's plenty of different types of email attachments that get sent out every single day in their millions. So be very, very careful because this is one of the most easiest ways of getting infected on your computer. And if you're one of those people that don't like to use antivirus software, then you're going to be falling foul to something like this. Even if you're surfing the web, it's easy to get infected. You can also get scam emails like these that are trying to get you to click on attachments and also get you to call them. And there's plenty of scams out there, so be very, very careful. I don't care how clued up you are. It's very easy to fall for some of these sometimes, especially parcel delivery ones. If you're getting parcel deliveries on a regular basis like I do, it's sometimes easy to misread something and click on it. Always check the links. Don't click on anything. Don't click on any attachments, and you should be fine. If you've got good antivirus software, you should be safe. Also, browse the web safely. There's plenty of sites out there that you can land on and they look just like this and they will run just like a blue screen error and then you would end up having a message saying you are infected or you've got a blue screen of death or some sort of 
uh, Microsoft scam where it's trying to get you to call uh, the actual number. I've blurred out all of the numbers here, and these are scammers, Microsoft scammers, or whatever you want to call them. They basically trick people into paying for things that they don't need to pay for. They will show you fake error messages, and they will show you fake scans on the system. And for people that are not clued up enough, will end up paying out hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. Once they get some money out of you, you'll be on their books, and they will constantly call you, cold call you, and they want to remote into your PC and do all this sort of nasty stuff. Be very, very careful. And uh, I know a lot of people, especially some of my viewers, don't fall for stuff like this, but there is tons of people that fall for this stuff every single day. There's more people using computers that are not tech savvy than there is people that are pretty clued up when it comes to computers. So next up, we're talking about staying away from pirated software or material on the internet. There is tons of sites out there that offer really expensive software for free if you download all of their crack and their actual software. A lot of this has been unpacked and repacked and they can add code in it and they can do all sorts of nasty stuff. The cracks themselves will be nasty and your antivirus program will detect them. And this is why they tell you to turn off your antivirus program so you can run the patch or the crack. You're going to get stupid people on the internet that will say, I've run these for years and I've never been infected. They don't know what they're talking about. You will get infected. They're even on YouTube. There's tons of videos on YouTube telling you how to download crack software, how to activate Windows, and they're getting uploaded on a daily basis, as you can see here. Do not fall for this sort of stuff. This is how you get infected, and this is how you end up with really nasty malware and even ransomware. So be very careful, because once ransomware gets on your system, your data is going to be encrypted and they're going to hold you to ransom. And this is what these uh, sites are about. So this is why backing up your computer is number six. And it's important that you back up your PC on a regular basis. If you get hit with ransomware and you have backups of all your data, that ransomware is completely useless. You can reinstall Windows and you won't lose any of your data. And the cyber criminals are not going to get any sort of money out of you. And if everyone follows this protocol, then ransomware will go away. But as it is right now, still people don't back up their data on a regular basis. There's plenty of free options available out there. I only back up a standard is a free option. You've got Macrim Reflect and you've got a bunch of other ones out there as well. For paid options, you've got a Cronus, which used to be called a Cronus True Image, which is now called a Cronus Cyber Protection. This has a ransomware protection built into their backup uh, software. And this is basically how they keep you safe from ransomware. But these are paid options. But a lot of these ones I'm showing you here are free options because I know a lot of people like to use free options. Now, you still want to try to use a free to one backup plan, which is basically keeping data on your computer, keeping data on your uh, NAS drive or an external drive, and then keeping one in the cloud. And it is free sources of backups that you're going to have. Now, the way you defeat ransomware is not by uh, trying to block it and stop it, because this is basically going to take a lot of resources on the computer, and you're better off backing up your data on a regular basis, and that way, if your data is stored away from the computer, ransomware can't encrypt it. And that is pretty much how you defeat ransomware. If you follow all these steps in this video, you will never have to fear anything like this because obviously you will be completely protected. So next up, we're going to be talking about passwords. Always use strong passwords and two-factor authentication. It's important that you keep yourself safe. And if you do use strong passwords, you should have a login password on your account. You should be using a standard account instead of administrator account. And you should also be using either your fingerprint scanner or your face recognition or something along those lines to make your system secure. Also, if you're running as a standard user, a lot of the other programs are not going to be able to run like the typical malware. Yes, some ransomware will still encrypt your data if you don't have adequate protection. But if you do have strong protection and also uh, strong passwords and using standard accounts, it's going to make it much more difficult. This is what we call layered security, and we use this in our home. We have a lock on our door. We have locks on our windows. 
we have alarm systems, we have security cameras. All of these are a layer of security that you're adding to your property. And you should be using the same for your PC. You should be making it more difficult for people to breach your security, i.e. a firewall, antivirus. And if you use strong passwords and uh, make sure you're following all of the uh, steps that I'm showing you in this video, you're not going to fall foul to any of these. So having strong passwords is making it difficult for people to uh, guess your password. Also, never give people out your password. And if people are talking to you over the phone and they're asking for your password, then don't give it to them because mainly these are scammers and they are trying to social engineer you. Adding another layer is the two-factor authentication. Adding this to your system will mean that you will need to have a text message sent to your phone, which you will then answer, and it will be a password. And this is another step of or layer of security that you're adding to your system. And this is essential. We have this in our banks and things like that. Next up, as an added bonus, you want to get yourself a firewall. Now, Windows Firewall is pretty good but it doesn't give you the yes or no questions when things want to access your computer from the outside. And also when your uh, programs want to access the internet by going out, you can then control this by using a firewall and saying yes or no, I don't want this coming in or I don't want that going out. This is also a great way of protecting you with ransomware and malware and other types of security breaches. You will then see programs that are trying to access your computer or trying to reach out of your computer with suspicious executables, and you can then investigate. Anyway, I hope this has been some sort of use to you, this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Leave us a comment on what sort of videos you want to see in up-and-coming days, and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. A quick shout-out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support, and I'll catch you again in the next video. Bye for now.